Are you ready? Ready for a video? Oh, oh Lisa. Good boy. Come here. Come here, baby. Okay. So, hi everyone. Today's video is going to be about this little guy. Um, come here. Do you want to show yourself to your... No, he doesn't. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, 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 okay. That's fine. I'll just remove my iPad, iPad from him. So, um, this dog, he is a mix of Bernese and Border Collie. And the story I decided to get him is because I fell in love with this breed. Because um, my friend had the same not the same but almost the same breed his mother was different and then when i just hang out with that dog i, I really fall, fell in love with the breed so when i decided to get a dog i didn't even have any doubts what kind of breed i want the issue was that there are not that many bernices mixes in illinois I don't know why he keeps biting me. He doesn't do that all the time. And he's not biting, he's sniffing. But anyways, I believe it's just because he wants to play <laughs> and I'm not in the mood, right? So I went online. The first night I decided to get a dog, I went online and all of them that I found in Illinois, they were like, I don't know, $3,000. And that was not even the mix that I want. I wanted Border Collie or King Charles Cavalier mix so they didn't have it in illinois but i found one in pennsylvania him the exact that i liked i called them no one picked up the phone i left a voicemail i sent them a text message and then there's something you need to know about me i'm a virgo and if you ever met virgos those are the people who want to get something right now right there um, so they don't want to wait another day for someone to call them back and that was Sunday the next day was Sunday So I knew that probably no one's gonna call me back. So I found another breeder in Wisconsin And that was the mix of Bernice Bernice. He has the same miles uh, He has the same color as this dog, but Bernice is like a huge dog That's why I didn't get the pure breed because the male Bernice can get up to 120 pounds when this dog is supposed to be not more than 60 pounds Hopefully, hopefully <laughs> he's already like 35 and he's um, five and a half months now so <clears throat> Stop, it's okay. It's okay, baby. So yeah, I found one in Wisconsin and then I almost bought him. I said that I'm gonna talk to my friends and figure out and then give them a call tomorrow. And then the next day when I supposed to give them a call and uh, pay for the dog, this guy called me back from Pennsylvania and said that he's available. His name was Maverick on the website, but I decided to call him Miles because he was like too many miles away from me. Um, and I needed to go to Pennsylvania to pick him up because transportation, Stop. The transportation was like um, almost the cost of the dog. I'll give you the prices later in the video. So, so what happened next, Miles? They called me. They said that I can come and pick him up. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I got sick, but it's not coronavirus. I took a test. It's not <laughs> negative. So yeah, I went to Pennsylvania. Wait, no, I paid online for him. And then he told me that I can pick him up anytime I want. And I was like, okay, mm, I thought that's kind of like um, a facility where they have a lot of dogs, everything is on record and so on. So I decided to go there. I flew to Pennsylvania and the issue was I wasn't able to flew back with him because he was two months at that time and he didn't have rabies vaccination. So they don't allow to flew with the dogs who don't have rabies. He keeps taking my iPad. Hey, I have a script there, okay? Wait. So yeah, I went to Pennsylvania, picked him up. So I flew to Pennsylvania and we rented a car. I went with my friend. We rented a car and we were, we've were we been driving like for three hours from the airport. So it's like, a, what was the name of this uh, village? Reversburg. So they, it's like so far away, but it's so beautiful. And uh, they have a lot of pets there different animals like horses dogs and so on and um we hey, 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 hey calm down so we came there i came to the house that i had the address and there was a lady with the papers i said that i'm picking up maverick 
and she was like okay here is one of them is maverick and there are like five different dogs looking the same as him stop don't eat everything so i was like okay <laughs> who do i choose but um actually he was like i knew that it was him right away okay okay you're going away come on let's go going out let's go it's okay you can come back when you calm down so no wait so <clears throat> i knew that was him because of the color so his face was exactly like on the picture with all the lines in the same colors and so on don't even think about it no he keeps like biting everything i don't know what to do with him no <laughs> okay so anyways we picked him up and uh, we've been driving back home and it's been like 11 hours or something to get back home and he was uh, like sleeping most of the way he threw up twice because he, i believe he's never been in the car before and there's like a long drive i almost threw up but yeah that's how i got him so how i got him but then i've never had a dog before and that was a puppy two months old yeah stop who's never been in a house before he's been living outside with Amish people he keeps barking and he behaves like that because he wants to go out and play but we'll go after I finish the video he knows that we're not going like every hour right now but we did before we did we went outside like every 30 minutes when I just got him and that was crazy like I was so pissed I didn't know what to do I was crying I was ready to sell him to someone because like I wasn't ready for that it was crazy like the first two months okay the first month for sure was crazy because he he was peeing everywhere he was pooping everywhere in the house he was biting everything he was crying mm -hmm. he was trying to get my attention he didn't sleep at night and uh, mm -hmm. like he wanted to go outside every 30 minutes he does right now as well but like he can hold for five hours or something right now but he, an hour come on I was like oh my god what do I do and the best part um, the best decision that I made when I got him I went to uh, a dog trainer in Costco so they helped me a lot because I really had no idea what to do with the dog how to train him how to like what am I supposed to do I don't even, like that was so spontaneous decision I wanted a dog but I didn't know how hard is that and it's like so much of responsibility so when I went to a dog trainer I took a class for six weeks or eight weeks and then he knows a lot of commands right now like sit stand uh, free uh, wait what else down paw um, brawl he he learned like expected dog behavior that he doesn't leave the house before I do and allow him to use the door so he's doing pretty good but it's been a lot of time energy and like I'm glad I did that what else did i do so he also went to a daycare i wanted to see how it goes he loved it and i have chosen come here baby it's okay come here why are you crying come on up come here come on it's okay so about the daycare he loved it there and um i've chosen the one with cameras inside so i could see what's going on because I was too afraid that they're gonna do something with dogs there, you know, like someone told me who, who've been working at a daycare they said that they sometimes close the dogs in cages for five hours and they just stay there and I'm like, why am I supposed to? like, I can do that at home without paying, you know, like $25, $35 a day so, yeah, but that daycare is actually pretty good if you're in Illinois, it's um, Deer Park Dogtopia, I can leave you the address in the description or if I don't if I forgot um, you can text me send me a message whatever so yeah the place was amazing the owner is amazing the staff is cool they were like super supportive they were spending time with dogs they were playing with them at the end of the day they gave me like that card with his mood how he behaved what kind of friends he made like what was his mood in general how much he ate and so on so it was like it's awesome almost like with kids so yeah and then about the prices if you don't mind i'm gonna look at my ipad because i have the prices there his price in pennsylvania he costed 16.95 it's pretty cheap i would say 
because their nieces in Illinois they charge like 3500 and up and that's for bigger dogs not puppies I believe puppies would be even more expensive then the flight to, to Pennsylvania was around two hundred dollars and then the car from Pennsylvania to Illinois was around 360 his toys food and other stuff like bad I don't know what else I got him I'm like I love buying stuff for him like almost like he's my kid so it was around five hundred dollars all of that stuff and uh, his food he gets different stuff but usually it's around a hundred a month I would say and then I got him the insurance for fifty dollars a month with um, nationwide pet insurance and they cover I believe that's the best plan they have because um, the one that covers everything was around 115 a month which is almost like my insurance um, so this plan covers like 50 uh, no, wait no 80 percent um, of the bill and it includes wellness not only emergencies so this is good now well, sit down I'm kind of you know recording a video okay thanks so yeah and um, a positive reinforcement training that was the um, dog trainer was around 290 so around 300 dollars i would say hey 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 don't eat that just play gently <laughs> gently do you know what is gently okay so ouch so yeah um it's not that expensive to have a dog but it is for sure some extra expenses that you don't have and it depends again like what you do because i'm planning it's getting warmer hopefully soon in chicago because it's the end of february i'm planning to go to different uh, dog parks most of them are you have to pay for them to get in and then i'll get him neutered if you actually have any recommendations about neutering a dog um because i've heard that bigger breeds it's better to wait when they're like around one year old but i know that most dog parks and daycares they don't allow dogs after seven months if they're not neutered because you know they they can have kids <laughs> so yeah i don't know what to do like should i wait when he's one year old or maybe longer than seven months and then get him new tread yeah we'll see but like anyways in general i love that i got a dog not all the time when it's snowing like snowstorm outside in chicago and i have to wake up at 7 a.m and go out with him or at night when it's 11 a 11 p.m i can't say that i'm happy to have a dog or when he's you know when i'm working and he's trying to get attention and <laughs> like that i get pissed sometimes but like in general i love him a lot he's like he's a part of the family now i don't know how like how how would i sell him if i had to or something like i did like i wanted at the beginning and i can't wait when it's warm in chicago to go for long walks spend time in the park outside because he loves being active he loves being outside he's like the most gentle funniest and, and you know like um nice breeds that i've ever met so if you want to read about the breed you'll find a lot of nice information he's, he's a cool dog <laughs> yes you are i'm talking about you oh yes oh 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 okay let's say goodbye to everyone come on come on get up up get up get up get up going outside outside yes 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 let's go outside yes oh, oh. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. Oh. Okay. Bye, everyone. Thank you for watching. And then, if you have any questions, if you want me to shoot any other videos with him, just comment down below and um, I'll be glad to do that. All right. Bye bye.